The American economy was evolving. The Industrial Revolution had left the country in a state of improvement and economic growth. The nation was shifting from rural and agricultural to urban and industrial. Newly opened factories needed workers, and lots of them. Millions of immigrants flooded to the country to fulfill these jobs and to escape the poverty, war, and intolerance in Europe. With no legal protection or safety regulations, workers often suffered harsh conditions in the workplace. Men, women, and children labored for long hours in the dark, unventilated factories among dangerous machines. For this grueling work, they received just pennies a day. Whenever strikes were organized to protest the conditions, they were often broken up by policemen hired by the factory owners. American author Upton Sinclair realized the plight of these stockyard workers and wished to expose the horrors and brutality of their everyday lives. His shocking account of the conditions inside Chicago's meat plants is documented in his famous novel, The Jungle, published in February 1906. There was never the least attention paid to what was cut up for sausage. There would come all the way back from Europe old sausage that had been rejected and that was moldy and white. It would be doused with borax and glycerine and dumped into the hoppers and made over again for home consumption.